Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Whiskify TV. I am your host, Jez, and here is what I have for you guys tonight. Um, so, I have a bottle of, I'm not going to pronounce this right, or if I am, I'm going to get it wrong, but either way, I'm going to go with what I believe it might be. I'm going to say Mitch's uh, Straight Rye Whiskey. Now, this stuff has come from Mitch's. Don't know if I got the name right again. Who knows? Um, Mitch's is a company that uh, claims to be one of the first founding uh, distilleries in the US, as majority of them do. Um, the company dates back to about 1753, um, and that's where their whole story began. Um, as you may see, a big US number one. They also claim to be, um, or claim to be, the uh, number one in the US. But obviously, cheeky little brandy on there. That would do that. All right, so give you the start of the, the straight off the front of the bottle because I didn't actually read this. Um, so I knew it was in. This is made in small batches, but it's done to the pre-revolutionary war quality standards dating back to 1753. The bottle is 42.4% or 84.8 proof. So standard, they haven't actually cut it down from for Australian standards, which is beautiful according to me anyway. Um, this is, I don't actually have an age on the whiskey barrel, unfortunately. Because this is single barrel, I'm not entirely sure how long it's been sitting in there, but I can tell you that it is matured in a hand-selected, charred American white oak barrel and then filled with this delicious liquid, aged for a period of time, and then filtered to their specifications. Now, it does make it a Kentucky whiskey, not a Kentucky bourbon, because it doesn't fit the right criteria. Mainly because it's a rye whiskey. Well, that's, that's one of the main things. It doesn't actually contain the three grains it takes to make it a delicious whiskey. Um, cork seal, which is always a win in my book. So, on the nose, um, uh, it's not actually heavy with. Um, excuse me, uh, vanilla tones, which I'm surprised about, um, because I was expecting a little bit of spice there as well, um, to, I just spilled a little bit on the table, so I'll suck that out later. Um, so, let's put that sucker down. It's not as dark as, um, a few other my rise, so, I'm hoping that this is still like a delicious liquid to sample. Um, I'd be expecting some uh, good, say, spicy notes out of this because it is uh, mainly a rye. I'm not sure if they have any other grains involved. Um, no, no, just rye, so I'm expecting all those spicy notes. Um, maybe a little bit fruity, something along those lines. So I'm just giving that time to kind of aerate, open up. Let me suck all that deliciousness out. So, going for a bit of a sniffy sniff. There we go. Alright, so super spicy on the nose. Like a, a peppery sort of vibe to it. So yeah, a um, little bit peppery on the palate, um, but it was like there and then it was gone, so I'm going to get back in there again. I wouldn't say this is, this isn't really, it's not even ethanol at all, it's more you're getting all the, the spices out of there, it's not stinging your nose when you take a good hit, so...
So I'm just getting in. Yeah, just a heap of spice in there. Um, pepper, mainly. Uh, a little bit fruity. Clean up, try again. So it's not burning the, the front of my mouth, it's just uh, as it, it goes down. A little bit of a Kentucky hug there. Nothing too heavy. Um, delicious for what it is, um, but by Australian standards, is it worth $120 a bottle? It's tough. It's definitely tough. Um, I don't mind it. I definitely think I, I may pick up another one of the bottles, but am I going to go through it on a regular basis? No, not really. Um, I'd say if you're an Australian, definitely support the Australian brands, um, like the Archie Rose I did last week. But, excuse me, um, but if you're an American, at least try and get some of the Australian stuff. Uh, you may be able to get it cheaper than what we're paying for it. Um, but... All in all, if it's all priced the same, I'd definitely be hitting um, our like premium Australian brands. Um, in saying that, doesn't hurt to gift me one of these poor suckers. So um, I'll give it a thumb up in my book. It's purchased from Boozbud. As I said, 120 bucks a bottle, um, and I guess that's me done for the night. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Show your family members. This is me. Stay thirsty, Australia.